So today we're up in County Longford with Eugene Fitzpatrick. We're going to be talking to Eugene about how he's utilising beef on dairy and the importance of the new DBI index. Eugene, thanks a million for having us up here in uh, the lovely County Longford. We definitely got the weather today. That's why we're, we're in the calf shed. Uh, I suppose, tell us a bit about how you ended up here and on this particular farm. You're very welcome for a start, Anya. Uh, I suppose going back, probably making here about 20 years. I would have originally come from a uh, cabin and was born and raised in a pub. And my parents bought this farm back in the 80s. So uh, it was basically a suckler farm here. I suppose when the time came and I took over the farm from my father, I decided to go milking. Through time we probably built up to, probably today, about 150 cows. So that's where we're at the moment with a spring calving system, generally grass-based. And so you've seen a lot of change since uh, 2015. Um, and just even sitting down and talking to you earlier on, looking at your EBI reports, you've, you've really improved the, the, the herd using the EBI since then. Uh, have you, what kind of benefits have you seen uh, with using the EBI? Well, definitely, I suppose we're coming from a fairly low base starting off a good few years ago, so EBA to me, it definitely has improved a bit of everything. Compact calving, you know, we're working our solids now more toward, you know, we're getting our solids up with a target there of 500 and we're not too far away from it at the moment. I suppose you've used a lot of sex semen for one, um, how did that go? Probably using sex semen here for the last three years. We went with uh, fixed AI on all the heifers last year and it worked really well, probably a little over 70% of a hit on the heifer, so we're very happy with that. And we're working, I suppose, using the higher EBI cows in the herd to use sex semen on as well on some of the cows. And the lower EBIs in the herd, we're using more beef. We're bringing more beef into the herd here, beef straws. And it's working out very well for us at the moment, anyway, so far. If you're <coughs> using kind of all sex semen on your heifers, how are you picking out your best cows to breed from uh, and not go to beef? Through EBI reports. Do you milk record, you do? Do you milk record, yeah. And do you find that? It's a vital tool. Deirdre is your, your breed advisor here. Yes. Um, I mean, what, what's her role in terms of helping for sire selection? It's probably, there's a lot of important phone calls to make every year, and it's probably the most important phone call, I find, because it's, it's the future of the herd going forward. And for me, it, it, it's, it's one of them vital hours in the year that the other calls and you sit down and you go through the things. So it's, it's very important that I have that contact with the other, they can ring her at any time and go through different changes throughout the year. How you doing? Uh, do you want to give us an intro, Dee, to tell us who you are and what you do? Uh, hi George, welcome to Longford. Um, my name is Deirdre Toll. Um, I'm a breeding advisor with Progressive Genetics. Um, I cover the North East area, Cavan, Monaghan, Longford and Leitrim. Um, so I've been dealing with Eugene here for the last 20 years, pretty much since he started milking here on this platform. I suppose in that 20 years, what has Eugene kind of been, the change in his herd, what, what's he been striving to, to, to achieve? I suppose he's always been focused on EBI and I suppose pr producing more solids um, and getting a better milk price. So we've been consistently looking at bulls with high percentages, high fertility sub-index, um, and we can see the, the results now. He's, he's really improved well. He's taken, just looking at his five-year trend report, he's taken five, 10 days off his calving interval in the last uh, five years. We've gone from 379 to 369 days. Um, he's doing 480 kilos of milk solids, so yeah, we're, 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 we're getting there. What we've done is we've picked three bulls, he's using sex bulls on the heifers, so we've picked three sex bulls for the maiden heifers, and then we have a panel of six conventional for the cows. So in order to get um, a diversity of pedigrees that you're not all pivotal Albert LWR uh, sired bulls, and plus they're all genomic sires, so you're spreading your risk by using a bigger panel of bulls. Now, a big one, Eugene kind of got famous for his uh, price you've got for Charlay calves there uh, back a couple of months ago or a month or two ago on, on Agriland. Yes. DBI, I mean, talk to us about it. Like, is it safe to start using continental bulls and dairy cows? Yeah, well, I suppose with the increased use of sex semen at the moment and people are being very selective about what bulls they're breeding their replacements from, so they're not necessarily using... Uh, Frisian from the very start because they're picking out the best bulls so therefore they have the ability to use uh, long, slightly longer gestation bulls at the start of the breeding season. Yeah he got on really well he, he, uh, he sold his, his uh, Charlie cows in Carrigallon there for I think about 350 euros. Yes, yeah, so 380 I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk technical for a minute on the DBI. Uh, 
personally, I haven't used it. I haven't used AI beef at all at home, but I will be using it this breeding season. What am I looking out for? What traits? Okay, so the, the DBI stands for the Dairy Beef Index. So it's, it's like the EBI coming all over again, but this time it's for the beef bulls that you're going to use in your dairy herd. The important thing is not to just select on the DBI figure itself because the DBI, there's a heavy weighting for ease of calving in it. So you can have a beef bull with a high DBI, but he's getting it all from his calf and ease figure and isn't necessarily going to give you a good quality calf. So the aim of the DBI is to get, obviously meet the dairy farmer's criteria of short gestation and easy calving, but also produce a good quality calf. As a breeding advisor, what's your big advice for farmers this year? Well, look, it, it hasn't changed an awful lot. It's, it's basically uh, get your panel of bulls organized. If you're going to use in sex semen, order it quickly. It's selling out. Um, and look, when you're picking a panel of bulls, it's about getting a panel of bulls with uh, 150 on uh, fertility sub-index, over 100 on production sub-index, 30 kilos of milk solids. And look, there's enough bulls out there to pick a panel that will get you plus 0.3 on fat and plus 0.2 on protein. Deirdre, thanks, Simeon, for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you, George. So as part of my third year I have to do work placement in different industries um, and I'm doing my dairy here. And how long are you here with uh, Eugene? Um, two months now. So this wasn't your first taste of dairying was it? First taste of dairying, yes. <coughs> and, uh, and what do you think, is it uh, one for you in the future? Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now a lot of farmers might be, or dairy farmers remember, might be a little bit nervous about using continental bulls such as Charlotte, isn't that? How are you finding them? It's very good. We tried it last year and it definitely worked out in our favour. Um, we probably put, used about 20 straws on older cows in the herd. That just a bit bigger frame to the cow. And we used the easy calf on Charlie Bull. Um, we had 15 to 20 calves here back about a month ago. We're sold in the mart and prices range from 300 to 385. It's a big bonus to get at that time of the year. And I suppose, are you looking uh, going forward are you going to use more beef bulls and, 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 and focus more on, on the sex? Definitely focusing more on, on sex. We're doing, I think we're, we're nearly there as a yard as the heifers. It's working well for us. We're going to stay at that. Condense your calving quite well. I mean, what aids are you using for that technology wise? We're tail painting, I suppose, is the first thing we're doing. And then we used, have been using vectomized bulls with colours. You've recently uh, got another bit of technology on the phone, uh, your app. New to me at the moment is the AgriNet herd app and I have it on the phone at the moment. So I'm, I'm playing with it at the moment and it, it seems to give me a lot more information than a previous provider. So I'm looking forward to getting used to it, I suppose. Um, yeah. Just going, going through it there at night time and stuff and it, it gives me out a lot of information in every cow that I probably hadn't got before. All the information I need is, is, is here on my phone. Where do you see yourself moving on going forward? 150 cows for me, the land is well set up for it and the building's in the yard. We put up another shed there last year, so we probably 190 cubicles for 150 cows. Plus the Waynelands have their cubicles as well. Um, fairly well set up. Well listen, Eugene, it's been a, an absolute pleasure to come down and see the farm and see the facilities here. It's a second to none and, and uh, listen, thanks for having us. More than welcome, just sorry about the rain. <laughs>